sliders are inspired by the flavors of Morocco. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. Welcome back to my channel. Later on, we have some guests coming over for a barbecue and I decided to put together these really simple Moroccan sliders. These are inspired by the flavors of Morocco. It's got things like bulgur wheat and chickpeas, little bit of figs and parsley, spices, and it's mixed together with lamb or beef. These are going to be cooked on my grill and are going to be super delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload a ton of videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Also, ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. As I mentioned earlier, I chose some pretty interesting ingredients to go into these sliders. I prepared some bulgur wheat here or burgul as it's known in the Middle East. This is a broken wheat and it's used in many Middle Eastern dishes including tabbouleh. To prepare this, I just add double the quantity of hot water and I just leave it to soak in for about 30 minutes. I also have some delicious dry figs here. Even though these figs have been dried, the center of the fruit is still moist and it's full of those tiny amazing fig seeds. Dried figs have an intensity of sweetness that will work really well in this dish. I also have some dry chickpeas here. These have been soaked and then roasted in an oven. You can easily prepare this at home or you can just buy this. It's so popular these days that you can pretty much find these anywhere. I'm going to crush these and they're going to give the sliders some great texture. I'm also going to prep some mint leaves and some parsley. Both of these grow abundantly in my garden at this time of year. I have two pounds here that's roughly 500 grams of lean ground meat. Lamb is traditional in Morocco but you can also use beef. I'm going to add five teaspoons of harissa. Harissa is a chili and garlic paste found in North Africa and it's used to flavor a lot of Moroccan dishes. I've made my own harissa and I will leave the link at the end of this video as well as in the description, but you can also buy this from any ethnic or speciality food store. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of the prepared bulgur wheat. I've got a quarter cup of dried diced figs. I'm going to throw in one teaspoon of sumac, one teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper, and I'm going to throw in a quarter cup of those crushed dried chickpeas. I'm going to add in a half cup of the diced mint and parsley, and I'm going to mix this well together. As always, test the seasoning first by frying a small amount. To make perfect little sliders, I'm going to use my slider burger press. This is very inexpensive. It's literally just a plastic tube which has lids on both ends and inserts in between. I will leave a link for this product in the description. It's available on Amazon and you can also find it at Walmart and many of the other big superstores. I put a lid on one side and I'm going to add an insert at the bottom. I like to use a scoop to measure the meat patties so they're consistent. These are about 3 ounces each and that's roughly about 85 grams. Filling a level scoop, I'm going to drop in the meat and then I'm going to add another insert and I'm going to press down with the pusher tube that's provided with the set. Keep going till you fill the tube. You should get about 5 patties per tube.
optional, but I like to cool the meat for about 30 minutes in the freezer first to make it easy to handle. Once done, I like to lay down some cling film and I cut some squares out of parchment or wax paper to put in between the patties. I'm going to remove the patties very carefully now from the tube and I'm going to stack them inserting a square of parchment or wax paper in between. Now I'm going to wrap this tightly. I'm going to finish off the rest of these burgers and do the same thing. If you can't find this burger press, don't worry, you can easily just make these by hand as well. And this is now ready for the freezer. I like to store these in my freezer. They are good for at least six months. When you're ready to use them, just pry them apart with a knife. Discard the paper and on to the hot grill they go. Allow these to cook on both sides. And remember, since they're frozen, you wanna make sure that they're cooked and defrosted all the way through. It really depends on how you like your meat prepared. I like mine well done and so I like to cook it for at least 10 to 12 minutes per side. slider buns but I also found these gorgeous mini pitas. Add the meat patty, some thum which is a traditional garlic sauce. I will leave that link at the end of this video as well as in the description together with the harissa and I'm going to top this off with a sprig of parsley. These cute Moroccan sliders were thoroughly enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Moroccan sliders. These are great to make ahead. You can store them in your freezer and have them on hand anytime you have guests. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload a ton of videos every week. So make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Also, ring the bell, that YouTube see bell icon. They will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.